The Jewish teachers and leaders didn't like the truth that Jesus taught. So they made a plan to arrest Him and get rid of Him once and for all. Judas, one of Jesus' followers, agreed to betray Jesus for some money. So he led the leaders to where Jesus was praying in the garden. They grabbed Jesus and took Him to the rulers of the land so they could decide what to do with Him. The people were furious and said that the things that Jesus was saying made Him guilty and He deserved to die. Pilate, the Roman ruler of the land, didn't think that Jesus had done anything wrong. But because he was too afraid to upset the crowd, he said that Jesus could be turned over to the soldiers to be crucified. Jesus was hurt and spat on. His clothes were torn and taken from him. And a crown made out of thorns was put on his head. He was hurt so badly that he couldn't even stand. He was then forced to carry the wooden cross so far up a mountain that he couldn't do it on his own. He took the cross to the place of the skull where he was nailed to it and crucified. Once the soldiers had done this, they waited for him to die. At noon, darkness fell over the land and a whole three hours later, Jesus took his last breath and finally died. At that very moment, the curtain that separated us from God tore into two. And the soldier who watched on said, this man truly was the son of God. Jesus's body was laid in a stone tomb and the soldiers rolled a large stone over it so no one came in or out. Days passed and it seemed as if there was no hope very early on Sunday morning, some woman came to visit Jesus' body and saw that the tomb was empty. He was no longer there. Don't be afraid, said the angel. He is not here. He is risen. For the next 40 days, Jesus showed up to his disciples and many others to show that he was not dead, but very much alive and to tell them that dying on the cross for their sins was the only way that they could be forgiven and be with God forever. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, and anyone who believes in Him will have life forever with Him in heaven.